Hello, all my minifigs, and... Hello, all my minifigs. I am B-Man Lego Boy, and thank you very much for clicking on this video. And today, guys, I have another reaction for you. I will be reacting to SML Movie, Cody Goes to Kindergarten, Part 3. So, guys, we are continuing the Cody Goes to Kindergarten series. I am absolutely loving this series so far. I'm loving all of the little kindergartners that really, to me, are not kindergartners at all. Like, they're behaving like teenagers or even freaking full-grown adults with, like, the things that they do and the words that they say. So, last we left off, Cody and um, Mikey, that's his name, almost forgot his name there. Cody and Mikey got in trouble with Mrs. Fitzpatrick. And Cody basically threatened to fight Mikey. So I'm assuming that's where we're going to be starting off on this one. So without further ado, guys, we're just going to jump right into the video. But first, if you haven't seen the video for yourself, the original link will be down in the description below. And without further ado, let's get into the reaction in three, two, one, go. <laughs> What are you doing, yep, Cody? Looks to be practicing. When I beat Mikey up today. You're really gonna beat up a five-year-old in kindergarten? Yeah, he's not gonna be such a bad kid once I kick his ass. See, that's what kids need these days. Good old ass whooping. Open up a can of whoop ass. Your glove fell off, Cody. I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I just think it's weird that you're 16 years old and you're gonna beat up a five-year-old. Dude, he's four. Remember? Oh yeah. Yeah, you're it's kind of weird. Old. Yeah, he's actually older than me, so so it's fine if I kick his ass. It's fine. Wait, what? 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 What did that say? What did he say? You're 16 years old and you're going to beat up a five-year-old. Dude, he's four, remember? Oh, yeah, you're four years old. Yeah, he's actually older than me, so so it's fine if I kick his ass. It's fine. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, you just admitted that you're four years old? So, <laughs> what? Wait, way to admit that, Cody. There, there, there. Telescope! Tiger! I got a big purple crown because I don't look purple. Nice, nice, uh, nice stickers. I approve. Ah! Red and blue play you. Ready to take off. Hey, Mikey. Huh. Hey, don't touch my airport. I don't want to touch your shitty airport. Actually, that's a pretty sick airport. Yeah, I got four different color planes. Red, blue, green, and yellow. That's actually, I'm not going to lie. That's actually pretty cool that he was able to do that. Because, like, normally all the blocks are, like, all over the place. And just, to, uh, you know... To an ADHD, a person with ADHD, just a nightmare. Yeah, those are four colors. Yeah, so don't touch my airport. It's been very busy today. There's been a lot of delays. Well, there's about to be a lot more delays. Why? How are they going to fly without a control tower? Hey! Yeah, that's what happens, Mikey. That's what happens. Hey, don't do that! Yeah, you fuck with the phone. Hey, right? hey, Mikey! <laughs> Uh, yeah, my mom was very upset with my behavior. You know my dad got the note you wrote because you got in his car again last night! What? What? What the hell? Oh my god, why does this kid know this stuff? He is way too young to know this. Shut up, Mikey! But you did! He gave you 50 bucks! What were you selling? Mikey, shut up or you're going in timeout! Mikey, you are... Oh yeah, like that timeout chair is threatening to them at this point. I mean, come on. I feel very angry, which brings me to today's lesson class. Today is Feelings Friday, and we're going to talk about our feelings. Sometimes you can feel mad like I am at Mikey right now. Sometimes you can feel sick like I was this morning. I've been throwing up a lot for some reason. I, I think I know why. But I don't know if I want to say it, because then that's just going to play into what Mikey is suggesting. But sometimes you can also feel in love. You're in love with my dad. You know he doesn't love you, right? That's why he hits you. He doesn't love me either, because he hits me too. Mikey, you're making me feel sad, and I would like to feel happy for once. Oh, oh I feel like I'm going to throw up again. <laughs> oh. Today, we're going to go around one by one and talk about how we feel today. <laughs> Daryl, you first. <laughs> there, there, there. 
you really you really had to call on him first you you know what he's gonna say nothing at all he, he's just gonna hit the button very good daryl class i think daryl's feeling happy today i'm feeling very sick <laughs> what does beryl do when he goes home like does he bring the book with him and he's just constantly hitting the button at his house? Because if so, then boy howdy, that must drive his parents nuts. I mean, I get that he's autistic, but like, have you have you considered therapy? Because, you know, I had to get therapy when I was younger. Helped me out a lot. Just, just saying. I have a lot more quirks in my past than I do today, guys. If you need therapy, go get it. I mean, in Inside Out, the color purple is associated with the character of fear. So, you you could argue that you're you're feeling scared right now. I mean, I'd be pretty scared sitting next to Beryl. I can tell you that much. How am I feeling? Well, I'm feeling pretty mad at Mikey. I want to beat his ass, but I really want to do a Dragon City ad first. Can I please be excused? Yes, Cody, but hurry up. Thanks, Teach. Oh, It'll only be a minute. Hey, Dragon Masters. We're back with another video oh. sponsored by Dragon City. And this time, we have a very exciting announcement for all SML Okay, fans. we are City skipping has added a free through this ad. Decoration now <sighs> okay, I'm back. <coughs> that was very nice, Cody. Now, kids, I'm going to go to the bathroom and take a test. You guys play your games and try to think about how you're feeling. You just said that you don't know why you're throwing up. And then all of a sudden, she pulls out a pregnancy test like she knows what's going on i'm sorry but what what is this writing around this plot with her pregnancy wow mrs fitzpatrick is really sick she must have cooties for my dad yeah i think she's taking a pregnancy test what's that it's the thing that you put under your tongue and it tells you how hot you are that's a thermometer freddie but now that the teacher's out of the room i'm gonna kick your ass mikey what because you got us in trouble and the teacher wrote a note home to my mom. But guess what, Mikey? I didn't give my mom that note. Ooh, I'm gonna tell Miss Fitzpatrick! Well, how are you gonna tell her anything with a broken lip? What? Yeah, that's right. Stay down, Mikey, you pussy. He hit him so hard the gloves came off his hands. <laughs> also, um, considering the fact that Mikey's wearing glasses, I would not be surprised if the, well, I mean, Theoretically speaking, the glass shattered in his eyes. And yeah, also not probably a smart move to tell Mikey that you didn't give the note to his, you know, to your parents, Cody. Yeah, does anybody else want some? Who do you think you are? I am. Cody, Cody, Yeah, Cody. yeah, I wanted to go just like that. Hey, Mikey, I'm gonna oh. kick your ass. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how you like that? <laughs> ow, ow, oh God, he's biting my ear. He's biting my ear, Freddy, get him the fuck off me. Oh God, it hurts, it hurts, somebody help me. Uh, 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 oh, he bit my fucking ear off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what? Class, I have to wait 15 minutes to see if this test is negative, which yeah, hopefully it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Cody, what's wrong? Yeah. Cody, Cody, what's wrong? Mikey bit my ear off. Mikey Gerard Tyson, you do not bite people's ears off. Wait, Tyson? His name is Mikey Tyson and he bit my ear off like Mike Tyson? I'm calling the principal right now. Wait, where's my ear? Has anybody seen my ear? It's right over here. Quick, put it on. Oh. All right, everybody, shut up. Oh, it no. is me, your principal, Mr. Steinbeck. <laughs> and your teacher right here, Mrs. Thanks, Patrick. Ooh. Yeah, she told me there was a little bit of a tussle in here. Over there. Over there? Okay. <laughs> okay. He put it on a blue block. That's, that's great. That's great, Mikey. I heard you two have a problem with fighting in class. He bit my ear off. Well, look, rub some dirt in it. This is kindergarten. Life gets a lot harder than this. He, he punched me in the face first. Look, I'll punch the both of you in the face if Miss Thick's Patrick over there tell me about you two fighting that class again. Okay. You got me? Yes, that is it. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> and I'm going to keep your ear. But why? Because I like it. it it's cool. <laughs> and let me address the class. Uh, I think Principal Steinbeck's got some fetishes that he should probably 
um, admit to. All right, everybody, shut up! Mrs. Thixapatrick over here walks in my class every single day and tells me this. Oh, my class is horrible. My students are from hell. Who birthed these demons? If I had a time machine, I would go back in time and murder every single parent so they couldn't even reproduce. Oh, these are the things I hear. Man, and Mrs. Thixpatrick, she got an ass on her. Woohoo! Man, talk about a wagon and that ass is dragging. It should be illegal in all 50 states, honestly. Why is she just nodding her head? <sighs> but uh, that's besides the point. <sighs> Look, if you little hell spawns make another ruckus in this class, do anything, fight, ah, break something, I don't care. I swear to God, there will be a mass murder. Uh, I mean... Someone will, be, someone will be expelled. A lot of people will be expelled. <laughs> My bad about that. How has this guy not been reported to the police yet? Just... Uh, he, he's literally threatening to murder children. I mean, sure, they're little devils. But... Um, what he's suggesting is still illegal. So, like... How? How? How is he still a free man? My bad about that. Uh, so, uh... How's my son, Daryl? Well, he loves his bear. Bear, bear, bear. Wait, that's his son? Oh, God. No wonder he is the way he is. His father's insane, and which also probably means that Steinbeck has autism because autism is genetic in men. So I think we now know where he got that from. Well, he screams every time. Let me talk to him. Oh, boy. Hey, Daryl, son, buddy, uh, how about we try a different animal, like the giraffe? No! Don't do it! Don't fucking do it! It's my son! I know how to talk to my son! Look, oh, no. How about we try the giraffe? Jesus! See? See? Bear. Fuck it, you win. Christ! He really likes that damn beer. It haunts my dreams. <sighs> Just don't make him mad. Ever. Yeah, I wonder or why. Fired. I know. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> it's positive. <laughs> hey, class, your teacher? She's I mean, sad. Yeah, I mean, you kind of <laughs> knew it. <sighs> Principal Steinbeck out. <laughs> wait, wait. Mrs. Fitzpatrick, if you ever need some extra cash, bring that ass this way. <laughs> Mrs. Fitzpatrick, are we still going to go around the room and tell each other how we feel? Yeah, I want to change my answer. I'm not keeping it. Uh, Mikey, no, uh, I'm texting your father right now. I mean, yes, Mikey, go ahead and tell us how you feel. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, also, um, uh, I, okay, so she just straight up admits, like, yeah, I'm not keeping the baby. So I'm guessing she's going to put it up for adoption. So considering that Florida is the way it is in terms of a certain women's right, yeah, that's probably the only thing she can do. The medicine I'm on makes me not feel anything. I am in so much pain. I am missing my fucking ear. Very good. Freddy, how about you? I feel stinky because I pooped in my pull-ups when the point of was yelling. That's very nice. Clarissa, you gotta keep the baby. No, I don't, Randy. Oh, what no. About all that good love and I've been giving you. It wasn't love, Randy. It was a... A freaking course he's covered in tattoos. A freaking course. And oh my god, what is that hair? It was a service. Ooh, look at that tall glass of water. And I am thirsty. <laughs> Randy, I told you not to come to my place of work. You embarrassing me? Yes. Hey, Dad. That's my dad, guys. Mikey, shut up before I slap the shit out of you. He's the worst child I've ever had the displeasure. Of course, he's also got a freaking redneck accent. Oh, God. It's it's really kind of starting to make sense with a lot of these kids, the way they are, you know. The displeasure of teaching. Well, we can raise one together. I'm not keeping it, Randy! Yes, the hell you is! Last time I saw my dad this mad, he killed my mom and my unborn blood off. Uh, I, I know you guys are having relationship problems, but I'm actively bleeding over here. The principal stole my ear. Can I please go home? Why you ain't want a kid with me? Where do I start, Randy? You're a bum. Yeah, you got a bum. Look at that dumpy. Oh, Randy, you don't even have a real 
job. Oh, yeah? What about my SoundCloud that I get 32 listens to on? That's one for each day of the month. That's not a real job, Randy. And there's 30 days in a month, sometimes 31. And sometimes there's 33, depending on the year. That's not what a leap year is, Randy. Oh, yeah? Well, my career's about to leap this year. Yes, sir. On the 4th of never -wary. Please, can I go to the <laughs> nurse? I'm losing so much blood. Listen, Randy, can we talk about this later? You gonna take me to McDonald's? <sighs> sure. You gonna get me a 20-piece with the sweet and sour sauce? Sure. In your nice-ass car? Fella, she got a nice-ass car now. A 2006 Buick LeSabre. Yes, sir! A 2006? We're in 2024. That shit's so clean it looks like it just came right off the lot. I don't care. I am in so much pain. Randy, if you leave right now, we can do the thing we did the other night. Okay. <laughs> Class, Why I'm are you so, encouraging him? So sorry. Bye, Dad. That's my dad. So you've said, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, I'm missing my ear. Can I please go to the nurse? Not right now, Cody. Maybe in a little bit. In a little bit. Am I going insane? Why is nobody helping me? Hey there, Miss Fitzpatrick. I'm here to do that procedure. Let's get that thing out of there. Oh, good. And what doctor, the? Doctor, please help me. I'm missing my ear. Just a second, kid. I gotta do this procedure first. Just a second? Are you kidding me? My ear is gone. All right, open up. Wait, right here? Well, yeah, you want it done, right? I guess. Wait, they're doing it? Oh. Wow. Okay. I... <laughs> they're actually performing an abortion. Oh, wow. Okay. Sure. And I guess, well, I guess technically, realistically, this video was uploaded before Florida's six-week abortion ban took effect. So, yeah, I guess this makes sense that they can still do it. Also, for anyone watching in Florida, please, for the love of God, vote yes on four for the ballot initiative this November that will codify abortion rights into Florida law. Okay, I just got to numb it first. Num, 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 num. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, though, this, this thing does have teeth. Uh, class, um, I'm feeling a little scared. How about everyone goes home for today? Thank God, I'm out of here. Uh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, can you give me a ride home? My dad already left. Nom, 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 nom. No, Mikey! Oh! Hold on, where's my little shark thing? Oh, there it is. I wonder if Cody what wanted to What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Cody, what happened to you? Mikey bit my ear off. Wait, like Mike Tyson? Exactly like Mike Tyson. Oh, shit, Mikey Tyson? That's literally his name. No way. Yes way, he bit my ear off and the principal stole it. What, the principal took your ear? Yeah. Well, why are you here? You need to go to a hospital. I know, I just wanted to tell you guys how my day was. I, I'm, I'm going. That... That's, that can't be right. Talk about a bad day, dude. Yeah, I know. Kindergarten must be really tough. I love how they didn't know how to react to that. So they were just like, I, I don't know how to, what, 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 what was this? <laughs> also, geez, another freaking ad. All right. Well, that's the end of the video, guys. So that was, um, that was part three of Cody Goes to Kindergarten. God, I, I don't. I don't know how much more insane this series is going to get. There's still three parts left. And we're only... So that means we're only halfway through this train wreck of a series that is still just hilarious. Oh my god. I cannot believe they actually showed her, like, in the position, getting ready to have the procedure done. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I hope Cody gets his ear back. Um, I'm gonna guess maybe that's the start of the next episode. But, I don't know. Stay tuned for part, for, uh, part four, guys. God, this, um, I'm loving this. I'm, I'm, I'm really am. I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to get back into these videos. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to go subscribe to SML and give them the love they so very much deserve. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, all my minifigs.